This house is a great example of uh, heating in cold climates. I don't have any backup heat sources here. My house is heated by heat pumps, period. My name's Terry Moog. I'm an HVAC contractor in Troy, New York. I've been in the HVAC business for a very long time and we average uh, somewhere between 250 and 300 installs a year of, of heat pumps. So yeah, we have a huge amount of customers out there with heat pumps. Uh, the biggest myths I hear about heat pumps are related to cold weather operation and the cost to operate the systems. A lot of that is due to the history of heat pumps, which in the 70s and 80s at the time, uh, they didn't function well below 30 degrees Fahrenheit. But needless to say, you know, recent developments over the last couple decades and primarily in Asia, they've really changed the technology and uh, transformed the marketplace. And we're selling a lot of heat pumps in very cold climates now. When you look at a rating on the NEEP, List Northeast Energy Partnership or AHRI. If you've got a rating sheet and it's got published data, that machine is going to function to the spec that it, it's offering. And um, all you do is back into the uh, design criteria that you have and you, your need or requirement you have for heat. And then if you want the thermostat to be 72 and it's zero outside, there's a process we go through called a manual J to determine how many British thermal units we need to put into the house to make the thermostat be 72 when it's zero outside. So if the house is leaky, that means more BTUs are required. That means the system has to be larger, which means it's going to cost more money. So. In those cases, you can certainly do the job and heat the house, but that consumer with a leaky house is gonna pay a lot more than a consumer with a very tight building envelope. We have a lot of homes that are looking to get off of fossil fuels. It's expensive, they, they don't like deliveries, uh, whatever the reasons are, they're motivated, they wanna help climate change mitigation. But if they have an existing system that's, that's working there's no harm in leaving it there. Let's assume that. It's okay to have a backup heating system in place. Whether you need to use it is a different issue. And with heat pumps, you do not need to use your backup heating system. It's just simply not a requirement. Regarding the electricity outages, the fossil fuel type systems also require electricity. So there's no technology other than a wood stove that's gonna help somebody when the power goes out. We're all gonna be calling our utility hoping it comes back on soon, or maybe you have a backup generator or something. The reason we sell a lot of fossil fuels is because there's a lot of customers. You know, as we start decarbonizing and getting into different energy sources to get away from fossil fuels, eventually you'll need less fossil fuels to be extracted, refined, and delivered. Heat pumps are a very important part of solving a very complicated problem. They're not the only solution, but the decarbonization of our energy system is critical. Something that is very low maintenance, it's heavily subsidized right now. I just think from a business point of view, it's a wonderful thing. Because number one, we're doing good things for the environment. And secondarily, we're maybe not having to work so hard to find customers. It's an incredibly exciting time to be an HVAC contractor.